Original Original Good morning good people Welcome back to my channel. Today is election day. Yes, I voted. I did early voting. And my children are home. And I am not letting them cramp my style all day. Because I'm going to do what I normally do on Tuesdays. When they're supposed to be at school. <laughs> ah, I've got my nasty, disgusting smoothie for today. Um, my water to swallow it down because it's like, like when you're drinking like hard liquor, you need a chaser. This is the liquor. This is the chaser. If I don't have that water to follow up, it don't sit right. Okay. Oh, I also got my handy dandy Bible. Um, I have been reading and praying, um, just practicing, um, you know, just like getting into the word. Um, I grew up in the church, um, you know, I know about the Bible, but when it's time to like really do it for yourself. It's like, where do you start? I ask my mama read the Bible, you know. They, she be getting in her thing <laughs> with her little, what do you call it? The, um, not the thesaurus, but the, I, I don't know. But, you know, she be studying. And she has all her little books and stuff. And so she be in it. But that doesn't mean I automatically know how to do it because I've seen her doing it so I'm learning um and you know it's it's been good so that's what I'm doing this morning uh in a little while I'm gonna get ready to clean up and cook and then I'm gonna go to the gym but just wanted to pop in and say good morning Whew. see y'all later Hey guys, <clears throat> I decided to get out of the house for a little while. Um, I'm just going window shopping. I'm not buying nothing, okay? Yeah, I'm not buying nothing. It's the day. <laughs> it's the day after election, right? And if you know, you know. I ain't gonna lie. I'm side eyeing like everybody. Who'd you vote for? Who'd you vote for? <laughs> Did you vote for the right person or the wrong person? Anyway, it is what it is. You can't change it. I'm about to go into the store and look around, you know. Go to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, you know, the good stuff. Just get some fresh air. I've been cooped up in the house, so that's what I'm about to do. Stuff is so cute. Like, who needs an ice bucket? Who had to buy it? And this is what I love right here. It's $129 for this. You've been throwing vibes my way. Already know you ain't gotta say it. Never try to hide it. How could you deny it? Every time I see you be on the same old thing. That is gorge. So much for these. Uh, these are two ninety nine. What's the hold? I got places to go. I got people to see. I got things to do. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna shoot? Just shut them wide open. Better make a move. TikTok was the motion.
ocean, babe Are you gon' swing my way? You see me shining, I'm on my ground So I don't got time to wait I'm all on your timeline Got you tuned in like it's prime time Zoom in, got you focused Got you thought I didn't notice You be out here lurking Be more assertive All of us flirting Maybe this could work If you weren't so nervous Just say the word and Maybe we can turn it all around See what it's about stuff like this but girl go sit down because I can't I can make that jacket Smells so good. Eucalyptus is my favorite scent. Let me see. I don't know. <clears throat> I think the other one smells better. Why are there so many people out here in these streets? Mm. I'm tired, y'all. Physically tired. Like, all I want to do is go to sleep. Go to Target. 
But maybe I should just go home. Ain't like I'm spending no money no way. But yeah, it's a Thursday. And I don't know if there's been some memos passed around saying, you know, everybody take off work on Thursdays and let's go to the stores. But to be a random Thursday is a lot of people out. Maybe they all jobless like me. I don't know. Uh, whew, the jobless, the stay-at-home moms, the work-from-home people who pretend like they at home working but they out shopping. Maybe some of them. <laughs> oh, let me go to the house. Go on, boo. Go on. Okay. Child mercy. Hey, hey, hey. I go get my sleep study done in January. I think January. I just have an appointment in January for a sleep study. So I don't know if they're gonna do like an initial uh, visit and then schedule it or what. But I do have to get a sleep study to check for sleep apnea. When I tell you I'm tired, like I should not be tired. I do have low iron, I do. But I be taking iron pills. I still be tired. Go on, little lady. Okay. Step one, two, step one, two. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Let everybody cross the street. Who else wanna go? But yeah, I be tired. So I went to sleep last night. I didn't even go to sleep late. I think I probably went to sleep about, maybe about 10.30, maybe. And then I woke up at 6.30 this morning. I went to the gym. I came back home and went back to bed. And then, what time I get up? <sighs> Maybe about like, <sighs> excuse me. Maybe about 10. Maybe about 10.45. And I'm still tired. Like, it's only 1.10 in the afternoon. Like, bruh. So, do I have sleep apnea? Do I have depression? I don't know, but I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Help me, Lord. But yeah, I went into, where did I go? I went to Home Goods first. And Home Goods, they have some good stuff in there sometimes. However, you get really overwhelmed in there. Like, it is junky. It is messy. It's like fighting for your life in there. And I feel like y'all got prices the way y'all got prices. Y'all need to be a little bit more classy and upscale, okay? Like, get y'all stuff clean and together, okay? It's ridiculous. I, I don't appreciate that. Um, So, I went to Home Goods first. Then, I went to Hobby Lobby. Now, Hobby Lobby, they be clean. Their stuff looks together, organized. Things on their shelves, where they need to be, just... 
it's not cluttery and it doesn't make you feel like oh my gosh there's just too much going on in here um so yeah i looked at a lot of decor things for the kids because i was looking for the girls so i can when i redo their rooms i saw a lot of stuff for boys but i already did my son's room last year and the way he be acting, he ain't getting nothing else. He on punishment now. <sighs> so yeah, um, yeah, I'm going home now. I do want to say yay to me. I have posted Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. I will be posting today and tomorrow to make five days straight. I'm excited. I set a goal and I'm going to make it. I don't always make all the goals. <laughs> oh, man. But I'm going to make this one. Okay, how many times have I yawned since I came on this camera five minutes ago? Whew. I told y'all earlier I was tired. Y'all see I'm here in the bed. I came home. Whew. I came home. I read two chapters in my Bible. I prayed. I took a nap. <laughs> and now I'm back up had to go get the baby off the bus and all of that good stuff um but I was just sitting here thinking how blah I feel today like oh my gosh and I've been seeing some people do videos about um Still being lost at this day and age as far as like being over that, that hump. I am a 39 year old woman and I am now in a state of unknown. Um, trying to find your purpose, trying to figure out what it is you're supposed to be doing. Um, and so, I mean, even at this point, just having a career in a place of employment or something, uh, bringing in some kind of income, you know, I kind of feel, it makes you feel like you're behind. It makes you feel like you're not, uh fulfilling your fullest potential and I feel that real hard I, and maybe it's because I am the oldest child and that comes with responsibility that comes with a lot of you know mental stuff in itself but I've always had this feeling of I have to be put together I have to have my stuff together and when I feel like I don't it makes me feel bad. It makes me feel embarrassed. It makes me feel inadequate. It makes me feel like I didn't do, I didn't do my part. Like, I wish I could be that child who can send my parents on a vacation somewhere. Um, I wish I could be that child who just financially had it all together where I never have to worry about anything. And I know I shouldn't let that define who I am, but it does make me feel like, oh my gosh, like I suck, like for real. <laughs> Even if, I mean, deep down, I know that's not the case. You know, I've overcome a lot. I've done a lot. I've been a lot. And I still am a lot. <laughs> but.
but I will say those thoughts do creep into your head and it's just like, oh my gosh, what am I going to, what, what am I going to do? Like, I need to get back on top, but I'm still trucking and trusting in God and believing in God and understanding that he has a plan for our life. And that this time in my life is already written in his plan. I do wish he would send me a letter and tell me what date the trial and tribulations will be over. I don't know when I'm going to get that. But just trying to keep positive and keep faith and keep hope alive. It gets rough sometimes, and I'm very thankful to have a spouse who is able to, you know, take care of his family, but that doesn't stop me from feeling like I'm not reaching the goals that I've set for myself. So I think today is just one of those days where I'm just feeling it and it's just hitting me and yeah because i don't know what's going on he sent me a message today and it said i wouldn't want to do this life with anybody but you and bruh i just started crying <laughs> I mean, I feel the same way, but it's just like, oh my gosh, I am making it harder for him because of the situation that I'm in. Granted, I needed the break and I needed to get my mental back together, but jeez. <sighs> anyway, so this video kind of sucks for today just, just because. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and do all the things. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Original.